Dear viewers, we have hit 500 subs, but alas, we are not here today to talk about it. No, we are here for a reaction video, because Mr. James of The Odd Ones Out has posted a new one, and thus, I feel like I must react to it. So here we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and our possible small creatures. My name is Eggsbenetic54, and welcome back to Eggs Reacts. Like I said before, we have a new one today from James, aka The Odd Ones Out. This one is called The Truth About Making Cartoons. Um, this came out, I believe, yesterday as of the time I'm recording this, so, um, it, yeah, it's very recent. And, uh, it's also number three on trending, so I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen. Also, I don't know if this is current, but, uh... I also see that James hit 17 million subscribers, so even though it's late, late I don't know how that, I don't know about any of that, so I uh, just want to say congrats, and uh, yeah, but anyways, uh, I know a little bit about making cartoons or animations at a certain point, I know um, some of the struggles that happen with, but, with doing it, but I'm sure James will have a lot more experience with this, probably, and uh, will definitely show a lot more. I'm, ho I'm only hoping that this isn't some kind of emotional thing, because from the title, it sounds like it could be. So, um, yeah. But anyways, regardless, just jumping to conclusions. So why don't we ch waste no more time and check out The Odd Ones Out, The Truth About Making Cartoons. Hello, I just wanted to let you know that the Scribble Showdown Tour is coming back. We'll huh. be going to these places on these dates. If you're interested, then check out the link in the description. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Okay. Also, I have facial hair now. Okay. Recently, I read the worst YouTube comment ever, and I can't stop okay. thinking about it. This comment lives in my head completely rent-free. It lives in its own private penthouse. The comment was concerning my upload schedule, and it was, If anime studios can make an episode of anime in one week, then these YouTubers can make a video in a month. Okay. Initially, I reacted like, You think that's how this works? You think anime studios post an episode and go, Great work, team! Well, time to make the next episode this week. Hope none of you have any plans. I know yeah. the working conditions in Japan are bad, but sheesh. I guess all the animators are just slacking off between seasons then, huh? And as I thought about it more, I realized, ah, I can't get too mad. This person is just uneducated about the animation industry and is probably a minor. And then I thought, hey, I know a bit about animation behind the scenes. Maybe I could talk about being an artist and educate people on the animation pipeline. So that way, I won't get any more uneducated comments. For this video, when I say artist, I'm going to be talking about the Google definition of an artist. Noun, a person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. Yeah. You know, the pen and paper artist. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not really going to be talking about artists who make music or birthday cakes or take black and white photos of sunsets because... I want to talk about cartoons. I make cartoons. Yeah. Now, it should come to no surprise that I'm pro-artist. Well, not a pro-artist. Are you kidding? I know my skill level. I still can't draw fingers. <laughs> yeah. What I'm saying is I will support Dude, anyone sure. who wants that's to make only like a select If you're making art as a hobby, then that's that a really sure. great creative outlet, and having something physical as an end result is incredibly rewarding. But if you want to turn making art into a full-time job, you might want to sit down and consider yep. a few things. Like, are you sure you don't want to go to law school? The biggest challenge all artists face is they have to eat food to survive. Mm. And in this capitalist society, food costs money. Yeah, so artists like are challenged to somehow take being good at making shapes and turn that into money. I know of four ways an artist can make a living. The first way is to be so good at art that people will pay money to hang it up really? in their house. The second option is to make caricature drawings at beaches and tourist traps. The third option is to sell your plasma. Oh. And the fourth option, which is the most common option, is to make drawings that people will pay you to sure. make and do a little bit of option Ugh. three on the side. Some artists will take commissions, which is basically an artist going, hey, I'll draw whatever you want, asterisk, for $100. And people will go, what the f***? It should be free. I was going to give you so much exposure to my 50 Twitter followers. 
Or people will go, I want you to draw this cute animal character I made, and while at first your price might seem a bit high to the uneducated, I understand that art is a time-consuming process and you need to eat too. So here's a crisp 100. Yeah. But another somewhat more stable idea is that artists will get jobs at studios or work for a YouTuber and we'll be like, hey, we'll give you money if you draw specifically what we want. And if we don't like your art, we'll make sure to communicate clearly what we would like changed and work as a team to do the best yeah. we can. Or you're fired! <laughs> and that yeah, leads us yeah, into animation. Exactly An important thing to remember for animation is that drawings equal time plus money. Exactly Please how much time? Well, to answer that one commenter's question, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, like, no, an anime do studio money, does though. not make an episode of anime in one week. I yeah. think. South Park is what making an episode in a week yeah. looks like. And truthfully, that's very impressive. Yeah, I take hard. months trying to figure out what the heck I'm even going to talk about. Making a single episode of a well. cartoon from know. scratch takes about two years. Yeah. Don't believe me? Well, let's see what Yakko from the 2020 Animaniacs has to say in the very first episode. At least, we still think there's a President Trump. You see, the writers are writing this in 2018. Now that doesn't mean it took 26 years to make uh, the first season of the Animaniacs. There's a lot of moving parts that happen when producing an animated right, TV series. Yeah. For starters, the whole season of the show gets made at the same of time. Course. While yeah. the writers are writing episode 12, the storyboard team is boarding episode 3, and the design team is designing the bowling shoes that are going to be worn in episode yep. 6. And it's someone's entire job to make sure that everyone's doing their yeah. job. This is called the Animation Pipeline. And there's so many other departments that I could honestly make a whole other video about this pipeline. If you're interested, I'll do it. But just know that it takes roughly two years to make a season of a cartoon yep. show. And that's why when shows reference memes, they're extremely outdated. You know, like a boss. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? This exterior nighttime city skyline background. This background was drawn by one of my background artists, Annie Loomis, and it took seven hours to make and it was used specifically for this clip. If it wasn't for the Cats movie, uh -huh. I would have thought Hollywood knew what they were doing too. It lasted for four seconds. Seven hours of work, four yep. seconds of content. I feel like that sometimes. So before we continue, I'm gonna make you all sit and appreciate this background for another four seconds so I can double the value of this background. Or just reuse it again in a future animation if you can. Backgrounds can be a time-consuming process, and the whole purpose of them is to be in the back of the ground. They're not even the focus. Yeah. So storyboarders will sketch out a scene to set the staging through layout, posing, and character expression. And during this phase, I'm trying to find places where I can reuse backgrounds or take pieces of other backgrounds and Frankenstein monster them together to make an entirely new yep. background. Like how I use the city background to be outside this window. Yep. Or how I took the buildings from this background, the bushes from this <laughs> background, and the bench from this background and made an entirely new background. And hopefully, none of you noticed. Am I being cheap or cutting corners? Absolutely, but that's the point. That gives another background artist more time to make something else, like this James-themed city skyline. Instead of having to draw 20 different backgrounds of a bedroom, we already have a bedroom. Let's just do something else, yeah. please. It's not being lazy. It's getting the most use, the most mileage out of your hard work. I see this next story pop up on Twitter about every month, and it makes me want to stab my eyes out. If you look at this scene from The Jungle Book and this scene from Winnie the Pooh, these two similarly proportioned boys are eerily moving in the exact same way. Wait, was this plagiarized? Did someone from Winnie the Pooh plagiarize the Jungle Book? No. Remember what I said about drawings equal time plus money? Well, back in the old days of animation, before fancy graphics cards and floppy disks, yeah. animation frames had to be physically painted onto floppy transparent sheets called oh, wow. cells. I so never animated movies out were that. essentially a really long flipbook with over a hundred thousand hand drawn painted pages. Ooh, back then, pretty, drawings equaled even good, more time and even like more thing, like money. That. This whole sequence had to not only be drawn 24 times a second but it also had to have the correct timing to look like a little boy was jumping on rocks just because you drew 24 Mowgli's doesn't mean they're gonna look good when you play the frames yeah. together so if you're making a cartoon movie in the 70s and you need a scene where a young boy character is just being a dude and throwing rocks and you need a really climactic fight scene, are you going to spend the time and money drawing another boy throwing another rock when someone else already did that 10 years ago? 
or are you going to reuse the animation the studio already made and then have more time and budget to make an even epicer fight scene? If these movies were from two different studios, then yes, that would be a completely yeah. different story. But Disney owns this movement of our boy Mowgli, so they're allowed to use that movement on our boy right. Chris. Turning your right. art into a full-time job is very difficult. I'm extremely lucky to not only have this opportunity, but to be able to build an amazing team of talented artists to create these cartoons and share them with you. And because of you watching these videos and supporting me, I'm able to reinvest money into the team so we can make better quality content and I can support more artists. Yep. It's a win-win symbiotic thing we got going on. So if you ever wanted to get into the art industry, good luck, get drawing, and start putting that portfolio together. Yep. I hope you all enjoyed this art rant. Considering that this video was all about artists, I of course have to give the biggest shout out to all the people on my team who made this video possible. So thank you everyone. I also want to clear up a line I said about how I will support anyone who does art. Obviously, if your art is offensive or harassing others, then that's not yeah. chill. I just didn't want to derail the video and give that caveat in the middle of a video, so I'm doing it now. And big news, my board game Cafe Chaos is now available in Target oh, really? just in time for the holidays, mm. or if you want to buy it online, the link will be in the description. And lastly, I'm going on tour with a bunch of friends in November. If you want to come see us play drawing games, then again, check out the link in the description, and I hope to see you there. It's 2 a.m. right now, so I'm going to mm. bed. Peace. Makes sense. All right, guys, so that was the odd ones out, the truth about making cartoons. Uh, I agree with all the points that uh, James made in that in that video. Um, it's very time-consuming, it's very hard, and very stressful at certain times. As a sort of animator myself, because uh, I kind of just make them as a sideline, not as a full-time thing, um, I, I feel a lot of that, and I understand what he's conveying and uh yeah so i really like this one uh so yeah please go check out james there's a link to this video in the description below and uh i can't really think of anything else to say other than support him because i'm sure he'd really appreciate it and uh until next time i'll see you guys again hope you have a great day and uh stay frosty <laughs>